Bienvenidos. Welcome. My name is Ray, a.k.a. Blast, and we here at the Cord Cutters community are here to help you cut the cord. Maybe you've already cut the cord or you're thinking about cutting the cord. We're here for you with advice, reviews, and easy to understand and follow how-tos like this one right here. Now, you may have heard that Peacock TV was recently released. It's a brand new streaming app and everybody's using it. Everybody, except for people on Roku and Fire TV devices, that is. Just like the HBO Max debacle that's been going on, you can't get NBC Peacock TV on your Fire TV device or Roku. Now, the HBO Max thing has been going on with those two companies for over a month now. And we don't want you to wait around forever for that. Now, if you want to get HBO Max on your Fire TV device, I do have a video on how to do that. And I'll link that in the description below. Okay? Roku, sorry. But today, we're going to help you get NBC Peacock TV on your Fire TV device. And once again, Roku, sorry. I owe you a drink, okay? If you ever see me around somewhere, I owe you a drink. Or we'll bring you that Roku work around soon, hopefully, okay? But right now, we're going to take care of you if you're on a Fire TV device and you want to get Peacock TV on there, we're going to help you do that. But I will warn you right now that this is a buggy workaround. It will freeze up every once in a while. You'll have to stop and restart the app. But it is working, okay? And we'll show you that here in just a second. So the first thing we want to do is start off in the home screen. We're going to go to settings. Okay, so go over to settings and then go over to My Fire TV. All right, so click that. And then you want to go to developer options. Oops, just skipped it. There we go. And you want to make sure apps from unknown sources is on. So be sure to turn that on. It's going to give you a warning. Go ahead, click OK that you're going to go ahead and do it. OK, so as remote known sources, turn it on. And now let's go back to the home screen. And we're going to go over to the magnifying glass and we're going to search for an app. We are searching for an app called Downloader. So once you start typing it in, it's a very popular app. It's going to pop up in the suggestions right away. So there it is right there. Let's click on that. And we're going to go ahead and click on it and get it. And it tells me I already own it. Lucky me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and download it because I did uninstall it so I could do the whole thing with you step by step. Now we're going to let it download and install. And while it's doing that, I would like to ask you if you could please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe and share this with your friends so they too can cut the cord and save a whole lot of money by getting rid of cable and satellite TV. All right, that was quick. Let's go ahead and open this. And then just click OK. And then you're going to leave what is right there, the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. You're going to leave that, but we're going to add to it, OK? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on that and bring up our little keyboard. And this is what you want to type in. You want to type in bit.ly slash fire PK. And I will have that on the screen here. But let's go ahead and do this. And then once you do that, you want to hit go. And then this big green thing right here, you want to click on that, okay? And then it brings up a pop-up. We're going to just hit the back there on the pop-up. And let's go ahead. Oh, there it goes. So now you want to go down to install. We're going to let this install. And once it has installed, we're going to go ahead and click done. Normally, you would hit open and go ahead and open, but we want to save all the space we can on your Fire TV devices and say are limited in the storage space. So we're going to click done, 
And we're, the reason we're doing that is because we want to delete what we just installed. Okay, well, we want to uh, delete the APK, which is an executable file, kind of like the EXE files on a window device. That's exactly what an APK is, but it's for Android devices. But we're going to go ahead and delete that. Okay, because the app is already installed. We don't need the installer anymore. So let's delete that. And yes, delete. Okay, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and hit the home screen again. And here we are in a home screen. And we're going to go down two rows, okay? The first row is recent. The second is your apps and channels. Go to the left and click on see all. And if for some reason on your device you don't see see all there, go all the way to the right and you will see it here. Click on that. And then if you go, once all the apps load here, if you go all the way to the bottom and over to the right, the far bottom and the far right, the last one added should be Peacock TV. Okay? So what we're going to do is go ahead and, and launch this, and then we're going to restart. We're going to restart because the, the program is very buggy when you first start it like this. It needs a restart. So we'll go ahead and load it up. All right, so now I'm going to hit the home screen again. We're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go to My Fire TV again. All right, and now we want to restart. So click on that. Click it again with the restart. And it's going to power off and then power back on. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this a second. All right, everything is loaded back up, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to come down and click on the Peacock TV again. Let's click this. And it's going to start up, and then it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, I have a tip for you. If you have an Android phone, you want to sign in from your Android phone. So you want to download it legitimately from the Play Store on your Android phone and then create an account because you're gonna get 90 days of the premium service. So they have a free service, which we're gonna check out right now. And then they also have a paid version, which is $4.99 with ads. And then you pay a little bit more to get rid of the ads. And what the paid version does is give you like double the content, okay? And also there's some movies uh, that you can access if you have the paid version and stuff. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and sign in and I want you to create an account, okay? So you sign up, I sign in, and we're gonna go ahead and do that, and we're gonna fast forward here a little bit. All right, you signed up, you've logged in, and here we are, Peacock TV. So go ahead and, and scroll around in there and check out what they got going on, TV shows, movies, stuff for kids. They have channels, so they have like a live TV section that you can click on, and they have some content there for you. Um, Let's just go ahead and click on something and see if we can get it to get going. Sometimes, like I said, this this is buggy. We might have to restart again. Friday Let's night, there will be a... Let's click on Friday Night Lights, which is a great series, by the way, if you haven't seen it. And if you're a football fan, you're going to love Friday Night Lights. Good morning, West Texas. Lamb and Sammy Mead coming at you with Panther Football Radio. All right, so it seems to be stuck on this screen. So like I said, this thing dial. is a little it's buggy. It's Monday morning, and we all know what that means. Only four Let's go ahead and click the back button. Let's try another show. If it does it again, we're going to restart and then try it again. Friday night. There. Try Drive Up at Target. Contactless delivery right to your car, designed for your day, your moves, your style, your taste. So quick and easy. Just download the Target app today. Okay, it's still messing up. So we're going we're gonna to first stop this app and then we're going to relaunch. Go to settings, go to applications, then go manage installed applications, and we're going to go to Peacock TV. 
So I'm kind of glad that it did mess up right away so I can show you exactly how to stop it and relaunch the application. So we're going to force stop. And then we're going to launch the application. And here we go. Let's start again. Let's try Everybody Hates Chris. Let's click on this. And it says resume the episode because I was watching it last night. So let's go ahead and resume this episode. And there you go. Everybody Hates Chris. So now you have Peacock TV on your Fire TV device. And if it does freeze up on you, there you go. I showed you exactly what you got to do. You just got to restart the app. And it should run fine now for a while. And then it's going to freeze up on you again, okay? So this is the workaround we got going on for right now. All right? So if you found some value from this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe. Click that little notification bell so you can get notifications every time we upload a new video to help you through your cord cutting journey. All right? Thank you so, so much. On behalf of the cord cutters community, thank you. And we'll talk to you again real soon.